Tuesday, I'm fading. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Major League Baseball is experimenting with a new camera angle, letting fans see what the umpire sees. It recently captured a couple of Mitch Hanniger home runs in Japan. A 12-year-old autistic boy in New Jersey called 911 because he couldn't find his teddy bear. The cops arrived. They found the teddy bear. Um, thank you for helping me, teddy bear. <laughs> I said, Ryan, did you call 911? And he said, yes. I said, why? He said, teddy bear rescue. We found the teddy bear. The teddy bear was okay. He was, he was in safe hands, uh, he, no injuries, nothing like that. Trump has tweeted again about the late Senator John McCain. His tweets over the weekend prompted a rebuke from the senator's daughter, Megan McCain, and some members of Congress. Listen, he spends his weekend obsessing over great men because he knows it, and I know it, and all of you know it. He will never be a great Great man. No. Yeah. No. And so he's a, my father was his kryptonite in life. Yeah. He's his kryptonite in death. On a personal level, I agree with you. All of us have love and families. And when my father was alive up until adulthood, we would spend our time together cooking, hiking, fishing, really celebrating life. And I think it's because he almost died. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, your life is spent on your weekends, not with your family, yeah. not with your friends, but obsessing, yeah. obsessing over great men you could never live up to. Yeah. Yeah. That tells you everything you need to know about his pathetic life yeah. right yeah. now. And I think, I mean, the fact... I, feel, I genuinely feel bad for his family. I yes. can't imagine having a father that does this on the weekends. Oh, they're all on the same page. Don't feel sorry okay. for the I don't know why everyone is so worried about this bathroom issue. I love Transformer people. I always have. I used to own a Trans Am back in the 80s. It was an absolutely unbelievable vehicle. It really was. And everyone knows that I have been a huge supporter of mysteriously genitaled Americans being able to poo-poo and pee-pee wherever our founding fathers intended them to. I considered it an incredible honor when Caitlyn Jenner burst into my office and had to pinch one very, very quickly after we had Thai food. It was an incredibly horrible scene in there, but after the Wheaties box and those Olympic medals, how could I say now? I will tell you this. If I hear that Rachel Maddow is using anything but a porta potty on a construction site, I will have her prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Trump is now calling Joe Biden another low IQ individual. Trump also asked, where's Tim Apple? Trump is demanding government action against a rerun of SNL. In addition, Trump is insisting on knowing who killed JR. Meanwhile, sources say the main reason Trump went on a Twitter tirade this weekend is because he's pissed at the Deutsche Bank story that states he lied about his net worth. They concluded he's worth about $700 million, not much more than what he inherited from his father. And in fact, he never was a billionaire. So essentially, his entire life is based on a lie. The Japanese space agency announced that next month it'll drop an explosive device onto the moon to create a crater. Evidently, the moon's other five million craters just aren't good enough. A drunken passenger aboard a high-speed train in Germany broke down the door of the driver's cabin and demanded that he reduce the train's speed. He was arrested and taken to jail slowly, very slowly. Authorities in New Jersey intercepted a million pounds of pork smuggled from China. Apparently, someone squealed. In upstate New York, a deer had to be rescued after it got its antlers caught in a soccer net. Sadly, this happens every St. Patrick's Day. Scientists say we would never be able to blow up an asteroid to save the planet Armageddon style. This is not surprising. We're not even willing to save the planet by throwing some of our garbage into different bins. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. Captain Marvel had another great weekend at the box office. Lori Loughlin is already bribing producers to put her daughters into the sequel. Hey, morally bankrupt rich parents of dim-witted, spoiled, rotten kids. Nobody gives a f***.
A NASA study reveals traveling in space causes herpes to flare up. In a related story, the Kardashians have canceled their moon landing. Hey, worst family in America, next to the Trumps, of course. Nobody gives a f And a Florida man was arrested for throwing pancake mix at a woman. He was charged with assault and batter. Hey, IHOP, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.